In 1995 the British government announced that the Royal Navy's Westland Lynx helicopters will be replaced. In 2002 a future Lynx project originated. A Westland Super Lynx 300 helicopter was proposed to meet both British Army and Royal Navy requirements to replace the aging Lynx helicopters. In 2006 UK Ministry of Defence awarded a contract for 70 new helicopters. This number was later cut back though. Production commenced in 2007. Until 2009 this new helicopter was called the Lynx Wildcat. However since 2009 this helicopter is marketed under the Augusta Westland brand. It is worth noting that back in 2000 Augusta of Italy and Westland helicopters of the United Kingdom merged and formed Augusta Westland. The Super Lynx AW 159 made its first flight in 2009. Initial deliveries began in 2011. There are utility, reconnaissance and anti-surface warfare versions of this multi-role helicopter. In 2014 the Augusta Westland AW-159 was officially adopted by the British Army and Royal Navy as the Wildcat where it replaced the old Westland Lynx helicopters. South Korea was the first export customer to order this new helicopter. There the AW-159 won competition against the MH-60 or Seahawk. An order for eight choppers was placed in 2013. These helicopters will be used by the South Korean Navy. The AW-159 is a further development of extremely successful Westland Super Lynx. There are two versions of this multi-role helicopter, intended for the British Army and Royal Navy. Both versions have a common airframe that has a wheeled undercarriage. Some of the AW-159 helicopters are used by the British Special Forces. The Augusta Westland AW-159 is a twin-engined helicopter. Even though it looks similar to the Westland Lynx, it has significant design differences. 95% of the components are new and only 5% are interchangeable with the latest versions of the Lynx, AH.7 and HMA.8 variants. The AW-159 is operated by two pilots. It can carry 7 to 9 passengers. One of the passenger can operate a door-mounted machine gun. The Army version has a 7.62mm machine gun, while the naval version is fitted with a much more powerful 12.7mm machine gun. This helicopter is powered by two Tech CTS 800-4N turboshaft engines, developing one 361 shop each. These engines are produced by a joint venture of Rolls-Royce and Honeywell. Certain elements, such as the tail rotor and tail boom, have been redesigned for greater durability and stealth qualities. The new AW-159 is a capable machine. The original Westland Lynx was arguably the most capable and versatile helicopter in its class. The helicopter can carry CRV-7 or other unoperated rockets. It can carry four Thales Martlet lightweight multi-role air-to-surface missiles. Alternatively it can carry four Sea Venom lightweight anti-ship missiles. These weapons are effective against small boats and fast attack craft. Both of these missiles can target ships and land targets. The naval version can also carry two Stingray torpedoes or depth charges. The AW-159 is equipped with advanced avionics suite and sensors. This helicopter has some defensive systems. Variants Wildcat AH.1. It is referred as Battlefield Reconnaissance and Assault Helicopter, rather than Utility Helicopter. A total of 30 were ordered by the British Army. It is also used by the Royal Navy. Wildcat HMA.2 Navalized Anti-Surface and Anti-Submarine Warfare, Utility, and Search and Rescue Helicopter. It has Active Electronically Scanned Array, AESA, Radar, electro-optical-slash-infrared device for imaging and target designation. It also has an active dipping sonar. A total of 28 were ordered by the Royal Navy. It might become a primary Royal Navy ship-based helicopter. 